Uh, expectations for indoor are to win the GNAC. We finished second last year. Um, Suffolk is rumored to not be in our conference anymore, so hopefully we can take that top spot from them, finish in the top, and just keep rolling into spring. Team dynamics great. Um, everyone's like pretty chill, relaxed. Everyone wants to like work really hard, and our goal, we all have the same goal of to win and push each other, do our best, be our best. And it's just, we know when to have fun, we know when to put our heads down and work, and it just, it works out really well. So Ryan, really great, super motivated for like wanting to drive everybody to be their best. And then Alan Damal, who are our sprinting coaches, super like relaxed guys, and they offer a lot of great one-on-one -on -one help. And that's definitely helped me improve a lot here. And I can just see it in like my times, my performances. Just like even the, like the slight feedback that I get is really great. Super excited for this season. We have the whole team coming back together, um, going out for the first meet, looking for new PRs, getting marks, um, and hopefully coming out with um, good scores in the GNACs at the end. Leadership is great. I think a lot of us have stepped up uh, personally to be leaderships, to be leaders, to um, get their own personal records and then get personal records for each other and do the best that we can as a whole team um, and motivate each other to just do our best. Coaching staff is phenomenal. Ryan is super dedicated to track and cross country. He loves the team. He loves the sport. Um, Walt is absolutely amazing. He stepped up last year as our uh, spring Rose coach, um, and he's just a very motivational guy. I think everyone's really amped up right now. We're super excited for the upcoming meet on the 10th, and I think it's just going to be a good season for everybody full of PRs. For the past couple of years here, everyone's been super tight with each other. Everyone always helps each other out. Everyone knows what to say in order to push everyone forward. So I think for the season going forward, that's just going to continue and that bond with each other is just going to grow stronger. Two team expectations I have are to stay healthy throughout the season and to win a GNAC championship. So I think this year compared to past years, we're more allowed to do things as a team together. With COVID, we weren't really super close. We couldn't really hang out outside of practice and this year, we're all really hanging out a lot. We're super close. So Al and Damal have been doing a great job with making practices very challenging for us in the best way possible, really pushing us to succeed. We have great leaders. Uh, we were a super young team the past couple of years, but now a bunch of those kids are now upperclassmen and we have outstanding leaders um, on all event groups, on our sprints, hurdles, jumps, our distance side. Um, so we have a lot of good leaders on the team. A couple of them, Ashley Kelleher, Chase Adams, Faith, um, Shannon, uh, Dean Miller is a great leader. Uh, so I could keep going on and on, but you know, those are our upperclassmen. Those are the people everybody looks to. Like track and field's unique, right? Um, we have our sprints crew, our jumps crew, like a hurdle crew, throws crew, distance crew, mid-distance crew. So there's a whole bunch of different things going on, um, but that's what makes our sport super fun. Like our kids are all friends with each other. They're not just friends within their groups. They all hang out with each other. You go to the dining hall, they're always hanging out together. Uh, we just have a bunch of good kids. Um, it's definitely one of the best groups I've, I think I've ever been around in terms of people supporting each other, supporting each other's goals, um, and they really rally behind each other, um, especially when we come to bigger meets and stuff like that. So yeah, no, it's a really awesome group to be around.